Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm here with another Beauty 101. Today I'm going to show you guys how to apply blush and I'm going to talk about why it's so important. Blush is probably one of my favorite steps in my entire makeup routine. I just feel like it makes such a big difference. I feel like it's so important. I feel like it's totally slept on and I just really love blush. So I'm excited about today's video. If you guys want to learn how to apply blush and learn about why it's so important and a little overlooked then definitely please keep watching okay so I don't have any blush on yet I've done my foundation concealer bronzer eyeshadow eyebrows eyeliner I haven't done my eyelashes or my lips yet but that's okay I uh, usually I like to finish my a uh, whole entire face routine, my face makeup, and my eye makeup before I put on lashes and lips. I don't know. It's just the way I like to do it. But uh, let's jump in. I'm going to use this blush. This is from Colourpop. Colourpop? Oh my god. I always get so tongue-tied. This is from Colourpop Palatial. I want to say this is the Palatial Pressed Powder bl Blush. Palatial? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. But it looks like this. Really pretty. Looks a little bit lighter on camera. Um... It's pretty, pretty orangey. I don't even know. It's like a orangey red kind of. I don't know. It's this color, like a corally orange. I don't even know. Palatial. <laughs> I don't know, but I've been really liking this color for blush lately. And I usually prefer a powder blush, but um, I will make another video on how to apply a cream or a liquid blush because I also use those sometimes. But usually I'm using a powder. So today I'm going to show you guys how to apply a powder blush. And I use a big fluffy brush like this. This is actually like a domed fluffy brush. This is from Real Techniques. Um, it used to have a name on it. I don't know what it's called, but it is a Real Techni Techniques brush. Uh, you can get these at Target. I think you can get them at Walmart too or online. These are great. I love Real Techniques brushes. I feel like they're amazing brushes and they're super affordable, so definitely recommend. But this is my favorite brush for blush. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to get tongue-tied. Okay, so I always just dip right into my blush, like so. Sometimes I'll swirl my blush around. I like to get a lot of pigment on my brush. Tap it out so there's not excess powder. And I like to start about, okay, so when you smile, it brings out the apples of your cheeks, okay? And I like to apply my brush starting on like the outer edge of my apple of my cheek. So right here. And then I like to drag it up. I'm using kind of swiping motions and kind of like flicking, swiping this out and up. I want it to go like right kind of under my eye, the outer corner of my eye right here. So I'm like kind of pressing and then flicking the brush towards the outer portion of my face, but like upwards to meet the outer corner of my eye. And then uh, with a lighter hand, I'm bringing it closer towards my nose, still keeping it on the apple of my cheek. I'm kind of just like tapping it and just blending it out a little bit. Um, I'm using a lighter hand since I do have a lot of product on my brush and I don't want it to get too muddy looking, but I do want it to be very apparent that I have blush on. And that's pretty much what it looks like when I'm done. I've done this side. Sometimes I'll start just really with a really light hand, taking it a little beyond that area just to kind of blend it in with the rest of my face. But I still want it really concentrated in that initial area that I applied it. So right here on the apples of my cheeks and then up kind of along my cheekbone. And then I'm going to apply it to the other side of my face. And as you can see, before I start any more on this side, the difference, I feel like it adds a little bit of shape, dimension, a little bit of a lift to my face. Um, I need my mirror so I can look. Yeah, I feel like it kind of just lifts my face a little bit compared to the side that doesn't have any yet. Just gives me a little bit of a lift. It also gives a little bit of shape to my face and it helps you look alive, you guys. Blush is so important. You can look a little bit flat. See on this side, I look a little bit flat, a little bit dull, especially if you don't use a lot of bronzer. If you're only wearing foundation and you don't wear at least blush, you can tend to look a little flat and like dead looking. <laughs> 
I just love blush because I just feel like it gives your skin like a healthy glow. It brings life into your skin. It helps you look alive and less corpse-like, you know, unless you're into like a corpsey look. I don't know, I just love blush because it makes you look alive and cute. So once again, I'm just placing it on the apple of my cheek. And if you smile, it really brings out this apple of your cheek. The apple of your cheek is this round area right here. So you can smile to accentuate that. And then just drag it out towards the outer corner of your face in this upward motion. I'm using kind of tapping, swiping motions. And then I'm just really lightly blending that down here into the rest of my face makeup. And it will look a little bit intense at first. I prefer intense blush. If it does get a little too intense for you, what I like to do is take my big fluffy brush, whether you use this for powder or foundation, I like to use mine for foundation. If it does look a little bit too intense, you can always tap over the blush with a fluffy brush with a little bit of powder or a little excess foundation, even just a clean fluffy brush, just to kind of soften it a little bit. That will help soften the edges and just kind of blur it if you need to. But like I said, I prefer heavy blush. I just love the way it looks. And then I also like to take blush onto the tip of my nose. I feel like this just gives like a really cute look. I feel like if you want to look cutesy, definitely apply some blush. See, just a little bit, kind of cute. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. And then sometimes I'll apply a little bit down here on my chin, not a lot, just a little to give my face a little bit of color. And then sometimes up here too, just to give me like a little bit of a sun kiss look. And that's it. That is it. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup. Then I'll hop back on. I'll have my little outro going and I'll show you guys what my face looks like with all of my makeup done and my blush. Alright guys, I just finished my makeup. I'm going to take these clips out. Ow, this one's pulling my hair. Ow, ow. Ow, why? My hair is like literally stuck in this clip. That sucks so bad. Okay, I didn't rip out any hair. That was embarrassing. All right, guys, and that is it. This is what my makeup looks like once I'm all finished with the blush. I don't know. I just feel like blush is so important. It's my favorite step in my makeup routine. I feel like it just makes everything come together. It brings life into this face, and it just looks so cute, you know, so cutesy. And don't be afraid of blush, because I used to be afraid of blush, and now I'm not. And I feel like blush is really in right now, like a lot of blush, heavy blush. It's like a whole vibe in this moment so I hope you guys enjoyed this little blush tutorial um, also oh I wanted to mention that I feel like blush kind of comes off or I don't know I feel like it throughout the day loses its intensity so that's also why I like to apply it a little heavier and I just like the look so I hope you guys do too if you like this video please let me know by giving it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe follow me on Instagram at the Hannah Jensen and I will see you guys in the next video bye